Hello guys and welcome back. You're watching Play of the Jays. So uh, we're uh, seeing a little bit of uh, games here for the Battle Arena PUBG scrims. Uh, so now we are going to move on to round number three very soon. So we already played two rounds on the Erangel. So now we will be moving on to Miramar for the next two matches. Now we did see in the last game that um, Team Suicide was able to come out with the win in that one as they were able to control the circle from the north uh, eastern side there and uh, it really did work out well for them and uh, they were able to put the pressure onto all the other teams of course we did see um, that it was a two on one on one battle with um, also having a uh, drink coffee first as well as um, uh, six gaming who had managed to stay alive over there towards the end but andy bg uh, was picked off uh, first and then i think uh, we did actually see that uh, snazu was uh, forced to actually Try and move in uh, by the circle there. He did have a clear shot earlier on, but he did want to wait for that battle to actually transpire. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for sharing the, the post uh, and the stream here. I really do like to, to spread the love here and make sure everyone can enjoy some good competitive PUBG action. So uh, thank you so much for all the support there. So I think we are almost about ready. We're just waiting for the last few uh, team members to come in. I think there were a few randoms that uh, did actually come in. So um, we are just going to wait for that to finish off and then we should be getting started with the very next game. All right, guys, we shall be starting just in a little bit here. So let's get ready for round number three. Now, guys, if you are looking for watching more competitive PUBG action, look no further. Play of the J is looking to bring you lots of uh, uh, scrims uh, and also for actual official tournaments as well uh, on a weekly basis here. So um, I am involved in terms of the casting of the PUBG Malaysia Singapore uh, Championship 2018. So qualifiers one did happen last weekend. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, their videos are all there on the Geek Events page. And uh, over the next uh, few weekends, I'll be also casting uh, qualifiers two, three and four, as well as the final event at Battle Arena on 13th, 14th of October. So uh, please do come and uh, visit the Geek Events page. Uh, we will be streaming all of the games to you live so just as a reminder every qualifier every team will get to play 12 rounds as they look to show that consistency that actually it warrants um, um, you know being one of uh, Malaysia's finest and worthy of getting into the final round of course final round will be uh, having and um, uh, 12 rounds as well and uh, so we're looking for having uh, Malaysian teams uh, qualify in each of these qualifiers the top four will go through uh, last uh, last Sunday we did see that uh, there were uh, a few teams there geek fam really stopping the competition that one and taking a huge uh, win overall there and I think um, in second place we did have uh, stadium fighter YOLO in third place we had uh, s2 warrior and fourth we did have team Hornet so they all qualify for that final event so congratulations to them and uh, also happening over last weekend there was also the HP Omen challenge which we did manage to see um, Red Sea as well as um, Stadium Fighter qualify for the final round in Thailand so congratulations again to them and best of luck for the final event in Thailand um, now 
uh, there will be again the three other qualifiers so if you are interested in signing up do check out the geek events page um the qual the qualifier number two happening this weekend registration will open at 9 p.m tomorrow night so do have all your team details ready as uh it's going to look to be quite the the cracking competition over there so uh don't leave it too late guys as um there might be the mad rush to actually go for the other uh qualifiers three and four so uh, to avoid disappointment you know what to do so we are just about ready to get started with miramar guys so uh yeah looking forward to this next one and uh see how the, these team strategies are going to shape up in this so it looks like for our first plane of miramar here it will be uh very much from the the western side all the way down to the southeastern uh, over Puerto Paraiso actually. So um, the whole top portion of the map will be uh, all fair, fair game here as uh, usually on these competitive games on Miramar we will see a lot of teams actually liking to go for the vehicles here as there is a lot more landmass compared to Erangel. Um, and of course if they have those vehicles, it does make it easy to them for them to go to those more northern spots to actually loot up. And you see here, everyone is going for the northern regions here. As there, there are going to be a lot of vehicles and a lot of places to loot here. Now, we already see that, um, I think this is Team Quacker, uh, together with uh, Six Gaming here, as they move up towards the El Pozo side. And uh, they are also sharing a little bit here with the... The model esport fellows over here and uh we already see that undisputed no this is bursatu powerhouse is over here um yeah um undisputed is over here together with uh qwerty um here is uh, elliot's revenge team suicide our winners from round number two are over here picado looks incredibly congested here as we have team one we have uh bajinan uh gaming here we have uh got um Feed and feed here. It looks almost like a pub game, guys, as we see everyone is going crazy here. But uh looks like Team 1 will be going for those vehicles here after they manage to grab two. Um, Team AG on the left side here, squad number 7, able to grab a vehicle themselves. And Kax is also able to grab a, a vehicle. But see whether or not he is going to be able to escape from that. As um looks like uh, Bajinan Gaming here engaged with... Um, uh, feed and feed here as uh, they duke it out in the fighting arena here But so far it looks like it's gonna be inside the the favor of uh, Bajinan gaming here as Abang Long will be looking to try and prevent further advancement here as he's gonna try and hold the stairs but Vine able to knock down Fleoflux here and uh, gonna leave uh, these three team members to actually try and uh, duke it out but now we already see Feed and Feed uh, already down to two players here after Brennan and Brax gets eliminated here but now it looks like uh, some fist fighting action as uh, we see uh, the circle has shifted all the way down to the south here so all, all these movements here uh, to the so yeah, all the movements that we have uh, to the north side, they're all just going to have to come straight back down. So looks like Feed on Feed are going to be uh, able to get out from that one. But they have Koyak Gaming in very close proximity here. So uh, they have to contend with that. But it looks like uh, Bajinan Gaming here will have dominance of the fighting ring for the time being. But Koyak Gaming will just try and scope them out and try and see where their movements might be. But Mok and... Uh, Ixlajak uh, will be trying to uh, get as much information as possible. They are luckily in the same building, so any potential push coming out from the feed and feed guys might be um, short-lived here. Los Leones is home to both Elliot's Revenge and uh, Elliot's Revenge as well as the QWERTY guys here. And uh, a little bit of space here between them, but not too much here as Dick Gina is just across the road and the Kin God already coming down from the multi-story with uh, Elliot and Omnidyne in close proximity. Now Elliot will be moving across here and um, currently Dick Gina is a little bit by himself so the rest of Team QWERTY here uh, might have to worry about that um, but looks like Elliot will be moving into the same building here. He takes a few bullets there as he moves straight upstairs here trying to avoid further fire but he's going to go for the, the flank here or at least uh, just get a nice spot here to hold up in. But he gets surprised by Dick Gina. So Dick Gina is going to be able to take him down. But uh, luckily for Elliot, Kin God will be there to get um, that knock onto Dick Gina. And it uh, looks like Elliot should be rest here. No problem. But now it looks like the rest of QWERTY will be alerted to his presence here as they are moving in. Um, 
but it's currently it's only Matrix here, who is uh, very close here. He gets a, a shot onto T over Coffee, but not any more connections there. As he looks to try and bring him down before he can reconvene with the rest of his team in the adjacent building. Now, El Pozo will be home to uh, Team Quacker over here. I'm not sure if this is a new team or not. Uh, I thought the admin was discussing as there might be someone else in. But for now, we're going to call them Team Quacker. If any of you know who is, um, who is actually there, then uh, please do uh, just come and have a look. Uh, or rather, post a comment in the, in the post and I will update it. No problem here. But now we see MBT here in rotation here as they drive past the, the guys from uh, Team AG here. But now it looks like Ice Stark here able to, to get the, another knock onto, um, onto Elliot's Revenge here. And uh, he's trying to just duke it out as best he can. They are moving in uh, in close proximity. They are trying to get some elevation here and try to spot them out. But Omnidyne bleeding out here. And Ice Stark will get that one. Oh, Kin got just dodging uh, unknowingly Mako's uh, shot over there. And uh, now they are a little bit surrounded here. And I don't think they're going to be able to really move without being spotted by the three team members here from Team QWERTY. Now, Mako is the, the one watching on this uh, northern side of that building here as Elliot and uh, King God are just trying to find out where all these players are but currently they are occupying very different spots here and Elliot taking a hit there Mako here and uh, Elliot able to pop out and able to take down Mako here so now it's Matrix who gets surprised here the C over coffee surprises him leaving only one player left alive here I start is gonna pop a smoke here and try and do the best that he can now we see others are on their way here but now in Picado we see that the fight has uh, resumed here as um, uh, Koyak Gaming here uh, in trouble here as Vine able to surprise Mok here as he moves up through the building in a very stealthy fashion. But now the other team members from Koyak Gaming are a little bit spread out here. Uh, Kane White God gonna shoot from the fighting ring at Vine here and uh, luckily just saving himself as he goes prone at that instance. But uh, Ixl Jack is actually... Um, uh, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that name, guys, so I'll just try my best. But Vine getting picked up by KNY God here. But the kills will be stolen here as uh, Koyak will be moving in on that position. But oh, all the way in La Cobrera, we have the the model eSport guys. But, um, but anyways, they seem to be having a good day. They did take the first chicken dinner of the evening here. So that was a good turn of events from him. Uh, or from that team now others are making their way over dream team is over here in the central region here But currently not too close, but now we see the team members from team padu padu duking it out here with the uh, team ag as they advance on this uh, Position here crown tv will get the knock and uh, elimination onto nine holy he is uh, just gonna loot up here, but they have lost disciple already in this game here reducing them down to 75% of their squad strength um, now we we see here that there is more fighting here as I think Vine did expire here as uh, now there's only Jubo here to hold the fort here as uh, we already see the advancement coming in from the rest of uh, Bungie Nan Gaming. Uh, Bungie Nan Gaming just going to try and heal up a little bit more here as they try and spot out where the player is for... Uh, Koya gaming the nade coming out for from Madi here, but not able to find the connection necessary as the Lemans is going to still be up for Koya gaming. But they are all hanging around this balcony here, trying to just get through the connector. Uh, as X Jack is still very much all there by himself, but uh, KNY God might run into a hail of bullets here as he gets uh, mowed down by X Jack's um, Uzi over there. But he KNY God should be okay. Um, but he is bleeding out fast. I think this is his second knock here as uh, he tries to um, wait this one out. Modi is going to throw the nade here and uh, try and uh, prevent uh, further tragedy here. But uh, KMY got it will be res here, no problem. As others are making their way down six gaming, all coming down all the way from the that western side as they were very close. And uh, now Modi is going to see whether he can finish it. Cleoflux uh, gets knocked down here. But Mahdi should be able to get him up, no problem here. So they clear out um, one of the Koyak players and uh, now leaving only Le Mans, I, I think, in uh, this uh, region here. So Le Mans, yes, will be the last player for Koyak Gaming. Now, Blue Zone is on the move here. Um, we will have to see Model Esports actually having make their move uh, pretty soon here, uh, as will... Um, Bursatu Powerhouse, who are still over here. Team 1 is a little bit separated. John C. Nobody's still looting up in Hacienda. but And the other two team members will be rotating 
through this zone here, currently controlled by Team Madu Madu. And uh, Crown is going to try and put those shots, but they don't have a good angle here. And uh, won't be able to get too many connections onto the rotation coming in from them. Now, meanwhile, we already see that 6 Gaming here trying to get some back onto uh, M uh, Team AG here. Well, not back onto them, but nearly onto them. Yeah, it was another green colored team that they were fighting. But now, Gang's getting on the board here as he knocks out the, the Quack. Team Quackers, uh, or Quack Jr.'s uh, player. Now, everyone is starting to congregate into the center of the circle, guys, as uh, it is going to be. Uh, all these teams trust trying to get ahead of the next zone and uh, really establish their map control and dominance and really force other teams out from these, these particular areas. As, uh, of course, the benefit will f from that will be that they are inadvertently forced to fight one another. Now, Chris Sim here taking a lot of hits here. Um, and, uh, oh, it looks as though that... Uh, Haikaxi with the MK14 will be able to get the final explosion onto iCry Sim. Now, he does aware of the presence of the Team Suicide members here, the winners of round number two here. Where can they continue this uh, good streak here? Winter takes um, one hit from the MK14 here, almost taking him out. But now we already see more rotations coming up here as we see the undisputed team here rotating through, but Potato Mo is uh, under a lot of pressure here. He's forced to disembark and he's in the middle of the field here. He's having to face off with Kaxis here on the high ground. But now it looks as though the high ground does belong to the team members of uh, Undisputed as they are pushing down here as they have the, got that good vision. They're going to deploy the smoke here as uh, Potato Mo is actually knocked down in that exchange. But now uh, it is uh, Squad 1 that is in a little bit of trouble. Nades are flying everywhere here as uh, things are... Developing here, Kaxis not going to be res just yet here as uh, Fetic Cross here is going to just try and uh, put a, a little bit more pressure and make sure that Potato Mo uh, can't be res too much. But Xaviero is in the rear here, so he might be able to help out a little bit. So zone number one is about to complete, guys. Uh, have to see how that part is going to develop here. Now, it looks like it has favored most of the teams here as it has gone very central over here, uh, not having too much water at all. So all these teams, 6 Gaming here and uh, Team Quacker are going to be moving in. And uh, the other two members of uh, FFG are going to have to make their way here as well. But now it looks like Saka is coming around the side here, able to confirm the kill. Knock down and confirm the kill onto Kaxis here. Fetacroft's also taking a lot of damage from the MK47. And now the nade will come out here. But I think he's uh, not able to spot out exactly where Fetacroft has been. But Jacob Jacob has been eliminated by Xaviero here. So now leaving uh, Team 1 with only one player over here. I think they still have one uh, trying to rotate in from Hacienda. Uh, John C. Nobody is coming to the rescue here um, but now he is still a little bit far away i'm not sure whether or not he can actually help too much but now fetikov's able to knock down salka but he will get knocked down in turn by ace so ace able to take him out leaving john c nobody as the only player left here for team one but now we see red c on their rotation here they are going very close to two of the members from ffg they are having a little bit of a 2-2 split here Papa Zai and NRL taking a little bit of damage, but nothing too serious here. None of the connections uh, being too meaningful in this exchange here. But now we see Xavier and uh, Alan here going at the Team Suicide guys here as they are fighting, duking out for this compound. Xavier taking a lot of hits from the, the North here as he uh, is going to have to be res here in quick fashion here. Supak Choi able to get that elevated shot onto them, uh, but now is aware of the additional presence from two of the other Dream Team members as... Um, Two of his team members are going to have to be res here. Things are heating up and uh, right now they are all on that lower ground. So they can easily get sandwiched in this position here. Sly DD will have that good shot here onto Suyo Pak Choi. Um, he's got a little bit of cover there, but it's, it's still quite porous at the end of the day and uh, runs the risk of getting uh, taken out in quick fashion here. And I don't think that they will be able to come and help him out. But Suyo Pak Choi able to knock down Savior yet again here. So he seems to have his number, but Sly DD finally able to connect with the, the car 98 shot there, guys. And um, now we will be seeing that other teams are making their way in. There's only 15 teams left here in this game. Uh, Six Gaming will be one of them, as uh, we also see Model Esport is playing very much on the edge and inside the blue at the moment. But Bungie Non Gaming going to have to uh, disengage from Picado after they finish off uh, the Le Mans. And uh, that's going to be it for Cry Out Gaming as well. Um, now in the north 
western side we do see here that this is um bursatu powerhouse and uh they're just gonna hang out here but now we already see here that rain Zera and the rest of uh um, Red Sea here are going to be advanced upon by the team members uh, from Undisputed who are just over this hill. I don't know whether they're too aware. Salka is coming over the uh, top here. He's able to spot Rain Zera as well, waiting for Rain Zera to come over here, and he's able to get the knock here. Now, the rest of Red Sea uh, just lagging a little bit far behind. Salka going to go for the heal as Ace goes around the side here and going to try and put some more shots. He's able to knock down Papa Zayed here, leaving Haha Gus and uh, NRL, the last players, and those two kills were confirmed. So now Red Sea at 50% strength here as uh, six kills already for undisputed in this game but potato mo wasn't been able to save in that exchange with team one that they had earlier but now we see elliot's revenge here duking it out now with the team members from uh team quacker now taicho will be trying to uh just hide out a little bit there's not too many places for that structure to actually peek out of so he's uh, going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage but as of now they're just going to have this little bit of a standoff as now we do see coming in from the south side model esport finally going to get inside the circle now they have taken this long rotation here just to stay as safe as possible but now return fire is coming in here yes is going to get onto the elevated position here and uh, see whether or not he can spot any more of these players from uh, elliot's revenge Currently, they only have three players in that compound. Uh, currently, a little bit unnumbered, but of course, it's a bit narrow. Now, looking at the circle, it's shifted all the way, uh, well, more to the wards, the west side over here. Favoring, again, most of these teams here, but now the rotation coming through here by Manjinan Gaming here, and it uh, looks like Fleoflux blows up into a ball of flames here as that rotation didn't work out for him. Abang Long and KNY God will be able to uh, get through there, but... Yeah, it, they are down in strength here from that exchange. Now, now Red Sea, the last two players, NRL and Haha Goose, are setting their sights onto uh, the other team members here, and uh, or rather the team members of Team Quacker as well. So Team Quacker in a position which is currently under a lot of scrutiny here, but now it does look like Elliot's Revenge will be moving out in the one vehicle that they have available to them. In the south side, we do have uh, Drink Coffee first here, uh, holding off on this position of the circle. Abang Long will be able to get in intra spam, and uh, uh, I think the he is still very much in uh, cover here, but... Um, but Abang Long is going to try and press the issue here as uh, they are trying to get the res, but the nade is good to confirm the kill there and leaving only two players left alive for Team Hadu Madu. And now Kun Chan here taking a lot of damage, but um, looks like his vehicle is going to be in a bit of trouble here as the uh, AKM here for Abang Long is going to knock him down this time as he decides to pop out and not let the vehicle explode for nothing here. KNY got knocked down by Crown and... Uh, Crown going to just posture a little bit with Abang Long. Abang Long going to dodge the nade by pushing a little bit closer here. And Crown is down to 50% health. Uh, but uh, looks as though the shot came out a little bit slow for uh, Abang Long. And uh, Crown able to take him down in that exchange. So that's going to be it for Bajinan Gaming here. As uh, now we do see that others are on their way uh, towards the central parts of the circle. K bites and the rest of uh, drink coffee first here. Just trying to get good shots onto MBT. Oh, and it looks as though Asmix able to knock down K bites with the headshot. And um, yeah, he's not really going to be able to replenish that helmet very easily here, guys. As um, there are not that many compounds at all in over here. Chumachera likely will not be inside the zone here. But now we see Six Gaming here trying to put long range hurt onto Drink Coffee first as um, they're able to see them from the other mountain that they currently have control over. Now, not sure if they can confirm kills. They ha do have a lot of angles here as they look to exert their influence on this southwestern side of the circle. But now Dream Team has moved inside the circle here and they too are shooting at all the team members from Drink Coffee first. It's a bit of a turkey shoot here as they are trying to just last as long as possible. Right now they are lying prone there and just trying to uh, get a res off if they can. One of the players is down. Uh, but those long range shots I feel is only a matter of time before they start connecting over here as Xavier is shelling away with that uh, SLR at his disposal. Darkus already having moved down to the low ground here just to try and get a little bit more safety. Um, now the teams here are very comfortable in their respective positions here. They don't want to move around too much uh, for fear of um, running past these other teams which are currently occupying uh, the very few compounds and good terrain 
uh, areas of this uh, very small circle. But now the circle has shifted all the way to the uh, west or northwestern side here. And only right now, um, FFG is the one that really benefits from this as they still have four players up here. But Six Gaming will be able to move in here. But Cold Blood will be looking to hold the fort here as uh, we see the advancement coming in here from uh, Model Esport. But Model Esport. Um, not going to be able to catch Cold Blood by himself as he does manage to back out with the rest of the squad. But at least they know that there will be some squad presence on this western side. But now we see that this is going to be an avenue for um, Dream Team here to come and rotate. Savior and Allens just coming over here and uh, going to um, take some distance. But now Savior just trying to stop these players from actually getting up there alive. But he managed to connect uh, one or two times here. But... Now they are, Dream Team is under a lot of pressure, but now it looks as though that Hunter's crew and the rest of uh, Six Gaming is going to be very aware of this situation as it develops. Now we also see Team Cracker here moving in all the way from the eastern side as they make their move, but also going to be joined by the team members of uh, Drink Coffee first as so they get shot out of the car here by Sly DD and Haikaxi and uh, oh, looks like Darkus able to return some of the, the favor here as he's uh, a little bit further away and he confirms the kill onto Savior here. But Alan's gonna try and put up those long range shots here as uh, he tries to finish off the last player. But Darkus, it will be getting away here and uh, no, no connections coming out just yet here and uh, he should be backing out a little bit here. But now we see that um, Six Gaming here, after they have occupied um, or moved up further along this edge of the circle here, they are trying to move in a little bit more. But now it looks as though Haikaxi able to put the finishing touches uh, onto, um, onto one of the players from uh, Model Esports as he goes down here as Dream Team tries to... Um, Put a little bit more pressure onto this region and control as much as they can. They need to eliminate this squad here as they are going to potentially get sandwiched. Rozaki here going down or still down here as Darkus abandons his teammate here in search for greener pastures. Now Red Sea is spread out here with the two players that they have still have available to them. But we can see here trying to spot out Allens here. He will be trying to disable his vehicle. Allens only at 50% of his health. So... He does manage to get the res or the heal off here, no problem. As does um, Baxter Yeah, these names, guys. Uh, but in any case, oh, it looks so Rosaki will go down as uh, uh, Allens and Hakaxi putting up those long range shots with their sniper rifles here. But now, looks like Sly. SDD will be able to finish it off here as he's able to get a good flank here. But now they can set their sights onto 6 Gaming without having to worry about um, this additional team over here. So no team is like in the center of the circle or taking this compound. 6 Gaming happy to stay on the high ground here. Um, and of course, this compound currently occupied by... Um, yeah, currently occupied by FFG is going to still maintain there. Now Sly DD sets his sight on the two members of Team Quacker who are still on the high ground there. But Darka's able to get that kill. And now he's going to move on to uh, this side over here to avoid further fire from FFG who are currently trying to control this uh, northeastern side here. And right now there's only uh, this other team here. Uh, this is Undisputed who are currently just trying to stay as quiet as possible. Bursatu Powerhouse is in the northern side and still in Chumachera. But now Haha <laughs> Gus um, might know that Darkas is there after he lost his uh, teammate in that exchange he but he's just going to lie prone for the time being here and just re restrict further movement but now Sui as well as Hunter's crew moving into this compound uh, for 6 gaming here and uh, betting on it and uh, they bet bet well here as uh, they see that they do have the circle with that compound here but it looks like more long range fire coming out here from the, the team members of um, Dream Team they are just trying to stop that player from Cracker here he has gone prone but, oh, leaving himself open to Asmix there as uh, he's able to take down Tommy Cruz. And uh, these guys from Dream Team will be trying to do their best uh, to, to put the hurt onto him. But now on the lower ground will be the rest of that um, Team Cracker. Well, now we already see that Undisputed on the move here as they move in. So is... Um, so is... Uh yeah, Bursatu Powerhouse moving in from the north side of, or rather the south side of Chumachera. 
Um, now, I'm Cold Blood will be staying on the high ground here as he looks to get as much information from this high ground as possible. But he runs the risk now of uh, actually running into the Dream Team members here. But he's going to try and do his best in this situation as now he sees uh, or hears the, the approachment from Hikaxi. He's going to relay that information if possible to his teammates here and try and back out as um, before any anything bad actually happens to them as they do want to try and preserve their squad strength here as um, they do want to try and have as maximum uh, efficiency here by holding this uh, compound. It's actually quite of a decent size here and could under, come under a lot of fire but looks like Darkus able to finish off both of the last two Red Sea members and Red Sea will go out in ninth position here but now we see the team members of FFG here putting some pressure onto Undisputed who are pushing. They have deployed their smokes here in the effort to try and get in here. Uh, Salka just trying to prime more nades here as he looks to put down 518 and the 518 going to run on just barely getting out with his life there in that exchange. But now there are going to be some encroachment from the team members of Undisputed as they try and advance on this position. Ace goes down to Emandu. Emandu will confirm the kill in that situation. And now others are moving in here. Darkas is moving in. We see Quacker is moving in. Chumachera will be still occupied by Prasatu Powerhouse and Dream Team will be here on the high ground. Hunter's crew putting up those long range fire shots with the MK47 and he's trying to disable these vehicles because currently FFG is technically not fully inside the circle. But they have other things to worry about here as Salka comes around here and MX518 able to get that knock here and Saviero will try to go inside the building and uh, get a little bit of flank here. He's able to knock down but uh, Shazwan and eliminate him so right now I think it is a uh, uh, Two on one situation at the moment, and the uh, flank will come out. Xaviero just gets out alive here. But now the blue zone is coming in here, and uh, Xaviero will try to put some shots onto him, but Enmandu will finish him off here. And they will be just inside the circle. But now Dream Team um, fully setting their sights onto uh, Six Gaming here as they try and pick off one of these team members here from Six Gaming. Now, Six Gaming is a bit spread out in this compound. If they take one knock here, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get him up. So they really need to restrict the amount of peaking that they do here, especially since that they have this last circle they just have to try and exert enough pressure to reduce the amount of players that actually want to look in this direction but now hunter's crew is um, just trying to get a good angle he's not going to rush it here i think he knows the the importance of staying up here and uh, he's going to pop out when he can but he takes a big headshot there from the mk 14 here and um that's going to wear away his helmet substantially i'm not sure if he can withstand another hit there even if he does fully heal so now others are starting to make their way i'm cold blood a spotting sly dd but he moves low enough that he actually hits the windowsill there so i'm cold blood not able to finish him off in that particular exchange now we will be seeing that others are making their moves into the circle here we see that team cracker is uh moving on this territory that currently occupied by the dream team currently sly dd is all by his lonesome over here and he has to worry about the incoming um, pressure Ye's able to knock him down and eliminate him and it uh, looks like Alan's knocked down by uh, cold blood or knocked down by sweet and confirmed by cold blood so now dream team down to two players left here as uh, they try and move in oh sorry it's only one player left um, but yeah looks like dream team in a little bit of a spot of bother here but this looks like it's going to be uh six gaming's game to lose so to speak here as uh right now we see that the team members from bursatu powerhouse are still very much on the high ground over here um they should have good angles actually onto the rest of six gaming here from this uh oil refinery area of chumachera now no teams are currently pushing into the compound yet. Just on the southern side, we do have the Team Cracker uh, occupying this zone. But now FFG is pushing up through here. And uh, now it looks like MX518 uh, five, five, able to put up a significant number of shots there. And he's able to take down Pebble. Um, so Emandu will be pushing with him. And uh, they are very close to one of the team members, ZMF has a fly. Uh, and he's going to try and do uh, a very stealthy maneuver here. Zero Fragger will be coming around here to see whether he can catch any inkling of the ad further advancement coming out from the FFG guys. But ZMSFY, not currently inside the zone here. He's going to actually make his move here, and he should actually have a very good vision onto these team members here. And he does here, MX518, and uh, looks like he's going to be in full view here as he primes the nade, and uh, MX518 goes down. Emandu will be the last player here. And uh, ZMSFY, uh, Emandu able to take out 
Um, Zero Fragger with the nade here, but Hunter's crew able to get those third party shots and he will be able to confirm the kill onto ZMSFY. The question is whether or not he can see um, a Zero Fragger or not. Uh, I think he should be able to get the res off. I'm not sure if anyone's been able to get that loot crate. But yes, this whole game is rotating very much around this compound. And it looks like it's still very much going to be the case as the next zone will be played over here. Now, others are maneuvering around, but I must say that uh, Six Gaming have controlled this spot very well here as they managed to stay up here and not take any hits, which is absolutely essential given the ambition that they have to actually control as much of the um, territory as possible. And it is working, guys, because the other teams are being forced to fight against one another. And uh, that's, at the end of the day, what you want from the what the competition to be doing when it's uh, going to be Battle Royale format. But now it looks like... Um, oh, Haikatsi able to get the double kill onto the last two members of Prasatu Powerhouse and that's going to be it. Now he's going to take his time. He's going to wait for others to actually start to engage and get inside the zone here. Now we see the three team members for um, Cracker are going to move in here as Rocco leading the way as they try and spot them out. They are deploying some smokes here to try and restrict uh, Cold Blood's vision here. Sweet trying to also get some good vision here but he doesn't have too much of a view. Taicho actually taking quite a few hits from Iron Coldblood, and Iron Coldblood will be able to get a few more. Yez has to heal here, and now looks like Hunter's crew going to get the flank here as he knocks down Zorako as he climbs inside the, the window. Now, Yez will be all alone. Haikaxi is going to take the opportunity to ri run down from the high ground here. Um, he is going to take a little bit of damage, but for the most part, he should be okay. Andy BG just going to focus on him. Now, Yez just uh, a little bit wary that there might be a third party here. And so, sure enough, there is Darkas here, who is looking to make things a little bit difficult. Hunter's crew going to confirm with the frag grenade over there. Iron Coldblood has moved to support Andy BG. Uh, Hycoxie is moving in, but Darkas able to get another kill. So, he's really racking them up as a solo squad member left alive here for a drink coffee first and uh, he's actually going to move up the high ground here as he looks to try and get some more third party action but right now six gaming looking very strong here they're holding this compound expertly well here the communication has been good and able to get those good flanking maneuvers off now high coxie here just going to try and deploy whatever utility he has remaining here as Andy BG is still very much making life incredibly difficult he's going for the spray in the smoke here and i'm not not sure whether he can actually spot him on the edge of the smoke. Uh, of course, on our screen, it does look very clear, but uh, it's going to be a very different story as they try and finish him off. But Sui should be aware that there might be the presence of another one of the other players. Um, as, of course, one of the, the last team member from Cracker did go down in this instance here. But Hunter's crew trying to pull out the nade here and uh, try and finish off Haikaxi and... Uh, Darkus, see whether or not he's going to get in on some of this third party action here. And so, Haikaxi able to take him down, but that looks like it's going to be it for him. Now, it's going to be Darkus against uh, the Team 6 Gaming at the moment. And uh, so far, I'm not sure what he can do here. He's had a good game so far, getting 5 kills despite um, the kind of odds that he's put under. But I'm not seeing it. Uh, happening for him in this game here as he is just trying to move and over as best as he can now the blue zone will start moving and he's going to have to move into this side of the compound that currently is being controlled quite well now the barn is going to be occupied here as uh, we see that it is being cleared a little bit here by cold blood and ndbg i don't think they know exactly where the last player is live they only know that he's uh, in the southern region of the compound. Hunter's crew will be moving up to the building here to see what kind of scouting he can get. But I think not going to be able to detect Darkas just yet as he is uh, moving in with the line under a lot of uh, stealthy pressure at the moment. But now he is caught already by the blue here and he's forced to move a little bit faster than he would have uh, liked. And uh, just going to try and get as much information as to where the six gaming guys are. I think he realizes that this is a full squad. They're all rushing him. And uh, looks as though that is going to be it. Is All four of them come around the corner together. And um, 
Yeah, sorry, Darkos. I don't think there's not going to be anything that you're going to be able to do from that. It looks like uh, Six Gaming able to take it with six skills. So they were controlling that circle pretty well there. They did move, of course, up onto the western side of the and the high ground there, really controlling the space, really putting up long range fire. I think like Drink Coffee first can uh, really attest to that as uh, they faced a lot of problems from that in the earlier stages as uh, they also got sandwiched by dream team but uh, as we did see that Darkus went all the way around to the eastern side long rotation and he is still able to take out red sea and also the last player of uh, quacker by himself so he had a good game there and well played to him in, in third place it is dream team here and uh, they were looking quite solid as well as they were pushing up the rear um, for six gaming as well so haikaksu Haikaxi able to really do well as well as the last player here. He got the last two members from Bersatu Powerhouse in the south of Chumachera and uh, really able to make that last as long as possible against the, the team members from um, Six Gaming. So, uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, his team members did get picked off as there was quite a big shootout between multiple teams in that southern region as uh, we also saw Quacker come into the mix. Quacker will get uh, fourth position here. And um, yep, we will also have Bursatu Powerhouse coming in fifth. So that is going to be it for round number three, guys. So when we return, we will bring you the last and final round here on Miramar. And you're watching the Battle Arena scrims on Play of the J. So do stay tuned and we'll be back shortly.